Hello, people. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, some students are reporting up and tonight. <clears throat> Okay, let's get started this evening. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, okay. Let me share the screen here. Okay, I need to move on to this next unit, to next lesson. This is the last week, and we have to complete the manual. All right. <clears throat> okay. Look at the pictures and Tell me, what do you see? So here it says body language. Body okay. language. Okay. So what do you think these people are um, trying to express? What do you think they are saying with their gestures? Observe the picture. And tell me, how does the blonde, she look? Huh? The blonde girl, it could be angry. Angry, she looks angry. Okay. But she's, the, the question is, uh, what does she mean with that gesture? For, for instance, this guy, what does he mean with that gesture? <clears throat> when you see someone doing that, what does he mean? He's trying to say that he don't know something. Yeah, probably that. Okay, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is meaning I don't know. Okay. Good. What about this girl? What does she mean with that gesture? Maybe if I enlarge this a little bit, let me see. Uh -huh. A little bit more. Okay, he was. You said that he might be saying, "I don't know." This lady, what is she saying with that gesture? Sure, she's asking him worry. Okay, to me, it's like so? it's, it looks like uh like a face palm. Like she is disappointed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, everything is good. Mm -hmm. What about this girl? She looks like nervous. Nervous. Just mm -hmm. this, this, this mm -hmm. Okay. This guy. He 
to be fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fighting? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. And this one you said at the beginning that she's angry. Angry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's take a look to the. Ah, I'm thinking. <laughs> well, she's saying, "Leave me alone." Hey. Leave yeah. me alone. Of course, she's upset, and she's she's saying, "Leave me alone." Okay. This guy saw so is like shaking his hand, and that means that's finished. So when you shake your hands, you mean that you did it, that you are done. That's finished. Okay. That's finished. And uh, well, not that kind of shaking. It's more that you are like cleaning your hands after some kind of work. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking. Mm, okay. I don't know. You got it with this one. And this more than says she's bored. I'm bored. Okay. Okay. Some body language or some gesture. Okay. These pictures are about that. Um, well. Do people here in El Salvador use these gestures? What do you think? Yes. Yeah, right. Around us. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what other gestures do you use to, commun to communicate the same meaning? Okay. Ah, uh, I would need your cameras on, but how, is there any other gesture to say, leave me alone? Ah, <laughs> uh, or no? Not necessary. I think uh, most of the people say the, the sentence, not with a gesture. Just okay. leave me alone. Ah, okay, but could be could be she feel very angry and in the another in, in another cases maybe you say give me alone but no not angry uh, softly okay okay hey, please give me a give me alone or get away but I don't know <laughs> <laughs> well usually you are not happy when you say that to someone mm. usually no Okay, uh, any other gesture uh, to say, I'm thinking? Ah, okay, look at maybe. So, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay. I'm just scratching your head. Oh, scratching your head, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, what about, I don't know. Is the same? Similar? Any other one? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh huh. Okay. Well, so in this conversation, we'll be talking about that. Yeah, a little bit about that. But first, look at the picture. And tell me, what do you see in the photo? Let me share the screen. Okay, how can you describe the, the photo? Tell me. There are two persons in a conversation. Okay. Friend conversation. Uh -huh. Friends, okay. What, what, where do you think they are? Student. They are talking about the classes or about homework, mm -hmm. or probably they are planning to go out after classes. Okay. Or right. ask for that homework. Oh, okay. 
So where are they? In the school. In a school, right? In the classroom. In the classroom. Oh, in the in classroom. front of the board. Ah, in front of the board. Okay, good. Um, what does the guy with the blue or gray shirt carry? Bag. A backpack. Bag. Backpack, a bag, okay. And the other guy? Like a book or agenda? Notebook. Uh -huh. Like a notebook, an agenda, a book. Okay, very good. Let's read the conversation. Let me read it and record it for you first. Hearing what's up. Okay. Have you met Rash, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice. But there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. Let me read it one more time. It's a conversation between three people, Ron, Laura, and Peter. Okay. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. Good. So if you observe in this conversation, uh, we have some words that we are going to study later. This one, maybe. Could um okay basically those. Mm -hmm. okay um uh, any question with the conversation no 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 everything is clear right okay. Okay, I'll send you to practice it um, in trios because okay. there's conversation between three people, Ron and Laura, Laura and Laura, that they don't have any idea what's going on with Rash and Peter, the expert in India, Indian culture, who tells them what is the reason why he moves his head, okay? So let me form the small groups right now. Mm. One more. Uh. There's one one group of no. Okay, join your groups, please. Send practice conversation. Take turns with the different roles from the dialogue. Okay.
See you in a moment. Didn't you get the invitation, Natalie? No, I didn't. No. Okay. Yeah, you had it. Okay. Can you share those the conversation the WhatsApp group projects? Oh sure, sure. Give me a second. Thanks. There is. Okay, thanks. Yancy, maybe I can be wrong. And you, Laura? Okay, okay.
Okay, welcome back. Let's see. Let's see a couple of groups with the conversation. Let me start with Ernesto, Julio, and Vanessa, please. Okay. Share the screen here. All right, all right. I started with Ron. Okay, so Julio will be Ron. Uh, I don't know. Ernesto could be Peter and Vanessa Laura. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. How did you meet Rat, the student from India? Vanessa? Is not Vanessa there? I will be Vanessa. Okay. I, I will be Laura, for sorry. No, I haven't. Well, he's the same really nice, but there are, there is one thing. I noticed he moved his head from side to side. When you talk to with him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't know. I think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Siga de Peter ahí, compañero. Okay, actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they agree with that you're saying. Oh, so that's what this meaning. Okay, thank you. Let's see Alejandra, Flor, and Natalie. Alejandra could be Ron. For Laura and Natalie Peter. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Have you met Rash, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, Gladys, or maybe and Luis and Morena, ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Luis, you are going to be wrong. Okay. Have you met Rock, the student from India? Gladys? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their hair from side to side when they agree with that you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Now, I, what happened? I have only Diego, Sandra, Pablo. Pablo and Jens in another group, Diego and Sandra. Somebody okay. else was here, but I don't see. Yeah, Jens was with us. 
with Sandra and I. But I don't Peter. know. Why, Jancy? Because I don't see her. Now nah, there you are. Okay, so Diego, Sandra, and Jancy, Andrea, please. Okay, I can be around. I'm going to be Laura. Okay. Have you met Raj, the student for India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I notice. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Perfect, very good. And now we have Pablo and Jancy. So maybe Pablo could be Ron and Peter at the same time. And Jancy okay. is Laura, okay? Okay. okay. Excuse me. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. Let me finish. Oh, so that's what it means. <laughs> okay, very good. Thanks. Very good, people. Well, let's take a look to this grammar. Focus here. About the uses of this model. Might, may, could, and must. And these, these adverbs, maybe, perhaps. Probably, okay. So, these ones express like probability, right? So we're talking about probability here, possibility. Um, it might or may mean he doesn't understand you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. It must mean uh, he agrees with you. Okay. Usually, might and may express a like possibility. And that possibility or probability increases here in this way. So must is a higher possibility. Could is a lower possibility than must, but a little bit higher than might and may. What is the usage of these models? This express a probability of something. And the same as adverbs. Uh, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Perhaps uh, it means he doesn't agree with you. That probably means he agrees with you. Okay, so this uh, language, this uh, is used to express possibility, probability about some. We have here some gestures. The idea is to relate them, to match them with these meanings. And making sentences uh, like this. What do you think number one means? And you could say that probably means, or it could be me, it could mean, etc. No. So let's uh let's do it this way. 
write sentences for each picture describing the meaning. Okay, following this example. Or you could say number one probably means uh that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy, yeah. Right? Okay. So the idea is to write sentences using different models or adverbs. So try to use at least one model with each sentence one other person it's okay i'll give you time to write in your notebook you can write wherever you're using your notes and then i will ask you to share something <laughs> well, let me ask you uh, about this this gesture. Okay, so let's see. Alejandra, what do you think number two means? Give me a sentence. Okay, using maybe it, good or whatever. Okay. It may mean that sounds crazy. Number two? Number one? No, I said number two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. What do you think number two means? Um, maybe um, maybe she means um come here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Morena, what do you think number three means? Okay, number three could be quiet. No, uh, yes, right? Yes, yeah. could, be, could, be, could be quiet. Yes, be quiet. Uh huh. Okay. Um, maybe what do you think number four means? 
Uh, it could be that she's saying peace. Peace, okay. Diego, what do you think number five means? The number five could mean like be careful to me. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Like watch out. <laughs> watch out, yeah. Um, let's see. What's here? Okay, floor, what do you think number six means? No, okay. Um, okay, number six. It must mean uh, day one, one, one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ernesto, what do you think number seven means? Uh, let me see. Num number seven. Maybe it's mean. Mm. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, Luis, what do you think number eight means? Uh, do you hear me? Oh, I can listen to you. Okay. I can hear you. Can hear you. Okay. I can know her. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Well, we have some gestures here, but with cameras off, it's really difficult to see you. Uh, look at these pictures, these faces, this, and we have here some um, impressions, no, some some feelings, or you have to match the pictures or the faces, the expressions, with the meanings, okay, with the emotions, the feelings, on the right. So please. Write the letter here, the little box about the meaning of these faces, facial expression. Okay, what about number one or the, the first one? It looks what? We have, like, okay, let me read this vocabulary. He looks amazed, annoyed, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, excited, interested, or shocked. Interesting. 
interested. Embarrassed. Yes, interested. Interested. Okay. Well, let me write the letter. What letter is G? Okay. Number this one. It looks. Excited. 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 Exciting. This F. And red. Okay, this one. Amazing. Amazing. Amazed. Hey. This one. Confused. 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 This. Shocked. 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 Some letter is H. This. Um, I'm sorry. Disgusted. No. Disgusted. D. This. Embarrassed. 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 And this. Annoyed. Annoyed. Mm -hmm. What letter is? Okay. Everyone agrees or? No. No? What do you think? Which one is different for you? You said this is interested. F X uh -huh. I think letter B and letter D can be switched. Letter B and letter D. Yes, B and D. Yes. Which is stronger, annoyed or disgusted? Disgusted. Disgusted. Disgusted, right? I think it's, it's jelly. <laughs> it's jelly. Annoyed. Uh, well, it's a matter of opinion, actually. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. The the A B, what is the meaning? I'm not sure. Annoyed. Let it be? Yeah, please. Okay. Annoyed is obo molesto. Ah, pero como irritado. No? Okay. That is the idea of annoyed. Yeah. Uh, Okay. okay. Well, let's see. Let me ask you, <clears throat> think about that. And let, what makes you feel amazed? Can you tell me what makes you feel amazed? Nothing? Mm, to me, maybe when I try to do something with code and I 
and I did it. <laughs> do do something with what? With code when when I code in. When oh. I, code, I I am coding something something. Oh. Or sometimes uh, when I am watching a movie, for example, mm -hmm. and I see something really interested. Mm -hmm. really interesting sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> and make me feel wow really amazed amazed okay anyone else please uh, similar wonderful wonder um wonder. yeah <clears throat> have you seen have you heard the, the there's a uh, a phrase the amazing spider-man so um so he does amazing things incredible things what he what he does okay in my case i would say that nature makes me feel amazed a sunset or when the sun rises, or um maybe uh yeah things from nature some documentaries from nature uh the, those things make me feel amazed okay um uh, what makes you feel i don't know when do you feel confused Tell me, when do you feel confused? When you're learning English. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Not only English, sometimes we are learning new things. Yeah, I remember at school, physics ah, makes, me, makes me feel confused. Or chemistry, general chemistry made me feel dumb sometimes mathematics right Makes... contability yeah okay <laughs> accounting yeah makes you feel confused yeah for me things related with numbers even though i'm not i'm not that bad for mathematics but Okay. Okay. Have you ever been embarrassed? <laughs> embarrassed? Yes. Yeah. Can anyone share a situation when you uh, felt embarrassed? I, I know everyone is thinking of something, but maybe you don't want to share. When someone is discovered uh, doing something wrong or probably the people feel embarrassed. Ah, when they catch you with red hands. Ah, when they catch you with red hands. Uh, oh, okay watching something you shouldn't be watching or looking someone you shouldn't be looking to <laughs> talking to someone you shouldn't be talking to you are were caught okay you feel embarrassed i uh, screw it <laughs> okay people well There ha we have some proverbs here, but the idea is to try to guess what what they mean. What they mean, okay? So I let you think with a moment what these proverbs mean. Let me read them first. 
penny save is a penny earned. The stitching time saves nine. Don't burn your bridges behind you. Every cloud has a silver lining. One person's meat is another one's poison. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Oh, what do you think these proverbs mean? You could you could write or say it in this way. Well, a penny saved is a penny earned. That could mean this, this, and this, and that. Teaching time saves nine. That might mean, or that could mean, this, and this, and that. I led you this to think about um, tonight, tomorrow, and I will ask you tomorrow, okay, the meaning of these proverbs. The meaning of these proverbs, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Let's stop tonight. Let's stop it here. And tomorrow, I will ask you what do these proverbs mean? Okay. Have a good night then and think about it. Bye. Sorry? You are gonna share the, the, the screenshot. Oh, okay, the... okay. I will share them here in WhatsApp. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, here they are. They are. I like more the last one. The last one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you could you could uh, find the equivalent in Spanish too. Mm -hmm. With that. Okay. Hey, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good see night, you. people. Okay. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Good night. Adieu.